It's Foundation Friday. It's Foundation Friday. Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today on Foundation Friday, I will be reviewing the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I've had so many requests to try this, which must mean that you oily skinned people know that this is some good stuff. But luckily for you, me, and my bank account, Makeup Forever sent me these foundations. So thank you so much, Makeup Forever. For those of you guys that follow me on Snapchat, you know you see me go to Sephora and Walgreens like every week buying new foundations. So uh, this is definitely a blessing. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation comes in a bottle like this. You pull off the top and it does have a pump. You guys know I always love when foundations have a pump top, so I'm very happy about that. It has a really cute sleek bottle with this chrome silver metallic little waist belt it's got on. Uh, there isn't much information on the bottle, it just says Makeup Forever Professional Paris Ultra HD. It's also one fluid ounce, just like the rest of the foundations I've reviewed. Shake before use. And that's kind of it. It doesn't really tell you who it's for, how long it's supposed to last. They're like, hey, just try it. I am very happy to say that there are 40 different shade ranges to choose from. And there are five shades darker than the darkest one that they sent me. So I'm happy that there are some more brown skin tones for us to work with. Makeup Forever is considered a high-end line, so this foundation is $43, and you can buy it at any Makeup Forever stores or Sephora. Now Makeup Forever actually sent me two different colors to choose from. The 173 Amber was actually my exact skin color, but then I got a tan while on vacation, so now I am darker than this one. But luckily, they did send me the Cognac shade, and this one is actually a little bit too dark. But I'm not mad at them, it's not their fault, I'm just being a chameleon this summer and changing colors every week. So you will see that I decided to mix these two and I made the perfect foundation shade. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this foundation. Starting off, my face is already moisturized and I'm going to be using one of the Makeup Forever primers. Now I really, really, really wish they would have sent me the mattifying primer because I definitely have very oily skin. But for now, I'm going to be using the smoothing primer and to see what this does. Oh wow, it definitely does blur out the, the pores though. So let's see what color works best. It's gonna do just a little, ooh. It's actually very like runny. I thought it was gonna be thicker, but it's like a liquid. There's the lighter shade, which does look too light for me now due to the summer. Let's see what this one looks like. And this one, hmm. It's either going to be good or going to be too dark. So I think I actually want to mix the two. But the funny part is, if you go onto the website, there's actually one color called praline that is in between these colors, but I'm going to try to like attempt my own praline by mixing the two right now. So before this dries, I am going to try these Glam Clor Sterile and Sanitary Adhesive Hand Palettes. That's like a sanitary way to mix your foundation. So let's see if I know how to do this. I think I place this on my hand. This is interesting. It's pretty much like a big piece of tape, but whatever. I'm gonna apply one pump of this and one pump of this. I say one and then I keep pumping. There we go. That's what I need in my life. Ah, yes. Perfect. Literally the perfect color. I'm like a mad scientist right now. Ooh, this is looking nice already. Not bad. And now I can take off this little sticky. All the makeup's there, my hand is clean and sanitary. Right off the bat, it definitely feels very lightweight. This is going to be great for summer because you don't want to put anything on that's too heavy or cakey in this heat. So it feels like I have nothing on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my face. Much better. Oh, I didn't even put on any lip gloss. I did my whole intro without lips. Fail. I am going to get, oh, what about the Makeup Forever lip gloss? This is their Artist Liquid Matte color, what color are you? Color 109. They like those number, those number names, don't ya? Oh yeah, this is pretty. 
So overall, I'm very happy with how the makeup applied. It does feel very light and breathable, like I said. But as some of you may know, I do have very oily skin. So my main test is always to see how long the makeup will last. So it's currently 2 p.m. and I'll be back at the end of the day and we'll see how well it held up on my oily skin. And I'm back, it is now 10 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for a total of eight hours. It's been a long, hot day and this is how well the makeup did. Now I have learned that when I film these post reaction videos, my light setups definitely add some extra shine so you see every every sheen and little spot of oil on my face, but it's actually not as bad in person under normal lighting. I'm happy to see that my foundation actually kind of stayed in place. It just kind of lifted because of the oil. So at this point, I always like to grab my oil absorbing sheets. If you don't have some of these, you need to get some. These are the Clean and Clear brand. So I'm going to grab a sheet and we're going to remove all the oil from my skin. much better shine be gone okay so here is all the oil that came off of my skin um, I do see some of the makeup coming off a little bit nothing too crazy but it definitely brought me back to a matte finish at this point I think it looks really good I'm really excited to try this foundation again, but with the Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer. I feel like those two products together is gonna to make my skin look even better, make my makeup last longer, and make me look less shiny. So if I do get my hands on it, I will show you guys on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. So make sure you follow me so you can see my day-to-day -day updates with all the foundations that I review. I do review new foundations every Friday, and I post curly hair product videos and tutorials on Sunday, so hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope to see you all next week right here on Bianca Renee Today.